Hello everyone, this is Alan from Digital Drafting Systems, the Customer Success Manager here. And I'm here with you guys today to show you uh, basically a couple of uh, different ways to go about uninstalling uh, your Autodesk software, your prior versions, things like that if you're trying to get rid of those. Um, Autodesk does have some tools that will actually help you with that process. And so I did want to go ahead and just point those out to you here today. So some of you may notice that Autodesk has switched uh, what the installer looks like for their software over the last couple of years. Um, and so I just wanted to point out because that's, this is an easy way to know which method you'll use depending on which installer it is that, uh, that the program was installed with. Um, so let's first focus on the older style installer. This is kind of what that's going to look like over here or like this. This is what you may be used to seeing. And so let's jump forward. So let's go ahead and run this uninstall. So in order to do this, we are going to go to our uh, program list here. You're going to look for your Autodesk folder, not the AutoCAD folders or anything like that, but the Autodesk folder itself. You're going to look for your uninstall tool. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. You're going to go ahead and put in, you're going to go ahead and put in your Windows administrative information there. And once that's done, you're going to get this pop up here. Now, uh, if you have more programs installed, obviously they'll all show up here. But what's nice about this is that if you choose, you know, AutoCAD 2018, not only will it get rid of AutoCAD 2018, but it will also go ahead and get rid of some of the materials libraries and things that come installed automatically. Okay, so let's go ahead and click uninstall. We're just going to go ahead and wait here just a couple of seconds. This does sometimes take a while, does sometimes seem like it's stuck. Just be patient with it. Uh, it should, you know, go ahead and get through everything. You'll see it says, you know, it'll tell you here the progress, but just be patient with it. Okay, and when this is done, you're going to see this says exit down here, and you're just going to go ahead and click exit. Okay. Um, now, for the newer installer, that's going to look something more like this when you get there. Uh, and the actual installation process will look more like this. The backgrounds may change things like that, but the actual kind of the loading bars and, and the look of the thing is what's going to kind of give that away. So for the newer installer, it's a little bit different. So let's go ahead and show you here. So you're going to go to your C drive. And once you're in your C drive, we'll go ahead and maximize this. You're going to go ahead and look for program data. Now, if you're not seeing program data, you can go ahead and make that visible in a couple of different ways here. Uh, on Windows 11, like I am here, you can go ahead and click on this down arrow next to view, show, and then you can say show hidden items. Check that box. On uh, Windows 10, it's going to be up here as well. Uh, on the third tab over, I think it's view, and there should be a, a show hidden items option there. Uh, for anything earlier than that, I do believe you actually have to go into the settings to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go into program data, Autodesk. We're going to scroll down here and look for the installers folder. Or uninstallers, I'm sorry about that. And then so here, in this case, we're going to go ahead and uninstall AutoCAD 2022. So you'll see you'll have some other updates and things like that here. I typically just run the, you know, just solid version one rather than the, the updates or anything like that. So let's go ahead and open that folder. You're going to see in each of these folders for their respective programs an ADSK uninstall helper. So we're going to go ahead and do a right click as admin on here. Again, you're going to need to put in your uh, Windows Administrator info, and you're going to go ahead and press Enter. So uh, some programs, again, have more and less of those little additional things that are installed. Um, so AutoCAD may have less, Revit may have more, for example. And so this will take longer if there's more. It'll be a little quicker if there's less. But you'll basically see here how these progress. Um, and as it uninstalls each of those components, it'll say done right there next to it. So again, just be patient. And as soon as this finishes, it will disappear. Um, okay. So let's jump back to here. Do I have anything else? All right. So before we go uh, and say we're done, right? So there's a couple kind of last things to try. This works for either method that we just talked about. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the control panel. Okay. We're going to go to uninstall a program. And so here, 
uh, typically the way that I'll do it is, so for example, we had a 2018 installed before, right? So I'm going to look for a 2018, see if there's anything left. I don't see anything, so I'll try 2022. And so I do have a Revit 22 in here, so it's not the best example. But you'll come in here, and if you have anything uh, left over that's from that other version, you'll see it here as well. Um, yeah, I don't have anything from that version, but this is where you'll come check some of that out as well. We'll get rid of anything else that you might see. Um, in order to uninstall any of those, you'll just do a, a single click and then a right click and uninstall. Some of these will just uninstall, have a little pop-up that shows you progress. Some of them will actually pop up and you have to click uninstall. That depends on the installer as well, typically. The, the ones from the newer installers will actually pop up and you have to manually click uninstall uh, versus kind of more automated flow of the earlier version. Okay, uh, the next thing we are going to uh, want to consider here, this is especially is helpful if you're um, having trouble removing some of your old stuff here. Um, so there's this tool called the uh, Microsoft uh, Program Install Uninstall Tool. And so you can find this. I typically just Google Microsoft Install Uninstall Tool, and this will you know come up. And so when you download this uninstaller here, let's take a look. It'll come up like this. You'll double click on it. Again, you're going to need to put in your admin information. Next. So this is going to detect problems. Here you'll say whether you're trying to install or uninstall. In this case, we are uninstalling. And this basically will help get rid of any, any pesky leftovers that are there that are not uninstalling for any reason. So when you're reinstalling a program from scratch, for example, and you're having trouble, sometimes there are some leftovers in there, and this program will help you clean some of that up um, in terms of those programs, as well as in some cases with uh, registry entries as well. So again, you come through here, you look down your list, you look for you know, whatever it is, leftover pieces that are causing your trouble. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm looking here for anything that may be here, but, you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. So we're not going to worry too much about it, but just so that you're aware that that is an option that's there. And then the last thing that I did want to show you here is once you've uninstalled, um, you know, one of those programs there, what I would suggest here is going to your C drive and going to your Autodesk folder. Depending on your installation method, this may or may not be the case. Um, but for example, in this case, this AutoCAD 18 and this AutoCAD 22 that I just installed today, um, you know, I'm not going to need any more. I just uninstalled those. These are the installation files, and these will take up a lot of storage on your on your drive. So, you know, if you're not planning on reinstalling those and you don't need them anymore, I would suggest going ahead and uninstall and uh, deleting those. And you can see here, this is these are large large files and so that'll clear up a lot of space on your uh, hard drive as well okay well thank you all for being here for checking this out um, if you have any questions concerns anything of that nature you know definitely just go ahead and let us know and we'd be more than happy to help